Hey there everyone, it's Carrie with Any Day Blessings and today I'm excited to do a walkthrough of the brand new Masterbooks app. This app just launched and um, I spent some time exploring and looking around and I, I'm already anticipating a couple questions, uh, things that I had to figure out and so I'm going to explain those to you. They're not hard but just a few things that I had to look to find in the app and I'm just going to uh, walk you through some things and give you some ideas for you using this. Now when you open the app, it comes right to this page. This is familiar. Uh, if you've used Instagram before, it, it's just a feed. And this is actually the community feed. And this is um, where all of the different users can interact with each other. You can see at the top, you can create a post here. And um, you can also comment on other people's posts and like other people's posts here. And then if you see kind of uh, towards the bottom of the screen, I don't think you can see if I press on it. Um, and I, I'm not going to press on it, uh, and I'll explain in just a minute. But uh, there's a little icon on the screen here, uh, three circles, um, kind of almost making a less than sign. And that is the share icon. If you've not um, used Instagram before or other blog uh, platforms, that's the share icon. If, you're, if you've only used um, Facebook and you're just looking for that share button, there won't be a share word here, but that's a share button. The nice thing about this though is that you can share it via text, um, private message in a messaging software. If you use uh, Facebook Messenger, you can share it there. You can share it in an email. You can share it in a Hangouts message if you use um, Google Hangouts. There are a plethora of ways that you can share now. Before, in, when we were just using the Facebook group uh, for Moms of Masterbooks, this, um, the only way you could share a post with somebody is if they also had Facebook. And many, many of my homeschool friends no longer use Facebook because of just various issues they've had with it. So this gives us a way now to share information with other people that don't have Facebook. So that's nice. Like I said, this is the, um, the community screen. This is what will open up. If you go up to the three lines in the top left, you can view other groups. Now right now, I'm gonna to go to groups. There's only two groups. There's the community group that you know is the landing page when you open the app that I just showed you. But then there's also the official group. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. The official group is a one-way communication group. That's communication from Masterbooks to us. So we cannot create posts in this group. We can comment on posts. We can share posts from this group, but we can't create them. So this is a, a much cleaner thread to me because there's not a whole bunch of, of posts. I like coming here. I like being able to come here and just see announcements, you know, things that, um, uh, you know, you may have had to scroll through a lot of other posts to find. This is just nice that this will just kind of be direct communication from Masterbooks to us in a nice, neat place. So that's good. That's the official group. They did say that they're going to create more groups as time goes. So there'll be a high school group, um, an elementary group, perhaps a preschool group. They haven't really said um, all the different types of groups, but they will eventually create them. So if you click on those top three lines again, I want to show you how you can get notifications. Click on the little picture selected for your profile. Mine is my little kiddos in the wagon there. And this will bring you just to your basic profile screen. Click on the gear icon in the upper right. And this will um, allow you to customize what notifications you'd like to see. Of course, you could turn off the notifications completely and not receive any notifications from the app. But I do want to receive some of them. So I'm, I hit that push notifications uh, menu option and I went in here and customized what notifications I want to see. I decided to turn off new messages and friends requests uh, for now because I'm not primarily going to use this as a messaging um, app or anything like that for right now. I have a small business and I'm unfortunately tied to Facebook because of that. I wish I could get away from Facebook, <laughs> trust me, but um, I would rather just kind of keep you know, that messaging all in one place for now. So I have turned that off in this app, but you can certainly uh, turn that on so you get notifications of all that sort of thing in, in your um, notification bar. I'm gonna back out of this, 
and head back to this main screen. I want to show you a couple more things in the menu. Click again those three lines at the top. I want to just show you something in the live stream menu. Now this is somewhere that they may do videos. They said they're still going to do videos in the Facebook group as well, but the one thing I want to point out that's different in so many of the other app live streams is down at the bottom you can write a message. So so many of the other um, live stream options that I've actually participated in didn't give you the option to um, message the presenter while they were doing the presentation live. So I was very thankful to see that we, we still have the capability to communicate uh, live with uh, whoever's doing the live stream. So that was, that was a good find. I'm going to click that, uh, those three lines again at the top. I want to show you this videos menu. This is really great to direct a brand new homeschooler to. If they're having trouble with math or science or whatever, all of the videos that they have done are all right here. And it's just an easier place to find them. I'm going to go ahead and click and show you what happens on math. It brings up an entire... Um, playlist of how to use the materials, tips and tricks, placement help, all of that. Now I will tell you, if you hit the back button, once you're in this screen, it will send you back to YouTube home. And that could get you into some things that you don't want to see. So I'm actually going to hit it very quickly here because, um, <laughs> see it just, <laughs> it just sends you to places you don't necessarily want to go sometimes. Um, but just as a warning there, it won't send you back to the app. You kind of have to hit the back button several times to get out of YouTube. So if you do choose to watch from here, just know that, okay? Um, but I think this is such a helpful place to send new moms because it's all together. Everything is right here and uh, categorized. And one other thing I'm going to show you, the digital goodies. This here is, I think, gonna. I think they're gonna add more to this because I personally have found lots more um, on the the website. I have found many more printables on the Masterbooks website than what is here. But again, the app is new. They're just getting it going, and I'm sure they're gonna be adding to this category because there are a lot more printables that you can use on um, on the website. So this is another good place to go. You could scroll through here if you're struggling in a certain subject and say, you know, I wonder if there's any other supplemental documents or helps or anything like that for this. And, and there very well may be. I've, I've actually gone to that several times. You can actually shop from here too. It'll connect you to the Masterbooks um, store. You'll see, you can see where they're going to be at at different events and things like that. So lots of different helpful information. I'm going to go back to the community page here just to wrap things up. Right now, if you're watching this again, uh, right around the time that I'm posting this, uh, right now they have a tagged little uh, voting poll at the top of their community page. I would encourage you to take the time to explore the app and, and to vote in this poll. And then take time to leave some feedback in the comment. Now, of course, um, as, as we are always reminded, you know, please be, be helpful and, and kind with your words. You can offer suggestions for improvement in a kind manner. So, you know, I would encourage you to do that. This is a service to us as homeschoolers, and we certainly don't want to, um, you know, be, be harsh with those that are, are trying to minister to us. So if you have something you want to improve, just do that in a, in a, communicate that in a respectful way, but I encourage you to do it because they, they were very clear when they presented this app to us, they want this to be used as, as a helpful tool. They want this to be, um, uh, an improvement in how we, uh, interact with each other and in how we interact with the company. So please, uh, take some time to, to explore and then offer some feedback, you know, so that they can make those adjustments that would be most helpful to our homeschool community. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I've got for this video. If you have taken a look at the app, please let me know what you think of it. And, um, uh, let me know if this kind of a video is helpful to you. You can 
uh, like and consider subscribing. That would let me know that, that you like this kind of content. Also, um, if you have not been able to find the app to download, I will go ahead and leave the links below because right now this app isn't showing up in the, the Play Store searches <laughs> at the top. So uh, I will give you the direct links both for Apple and Android devices that you can um, go directly to the install screen uh, for this app. Okay? All right, everyone. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.